Hello guys, in this video we are going to see what is new in Bootstrap Studio version 5.5.0. So this update has been released on December 7, 2020. And they have given some updates in this and in that updates I have listed 5 major updates which I feel that is important and it is very useful for all of us. So the first update is now the Bootstrap Studio version 5.5.0 is running on Bootstrap version 4.5.3. That means the latest version of Bootstrap Studio version 5.5.0 is running on Bootstrap version 4.5.3. That is the first thing which I want to tell you that they have upgraded the version of Bootstrap in Bootstrap Studio. Okay, this is the first thing which they have done. So second thing is they have given an option to add the components in a favorite list. So let's see how to do that. So I will click on new design here and just for this I will name it as test. Hit enter or click on create. So we have this blank template with us now here we are going to create the website but most of you most of us are using components frequently. So you can see there are some folders in this studio panel starts from user download UI text and etc etc etc. We can create a separate folder and in that we can add the components which are favorite to us. Let's say I am using card frequently, this component I use frequently. So here what I can do is like just click on this right click and I will and I will click on add to favorites. So this way what will happen the first folder is favorite over here now. So you can see user before user the favorites folder has been created. So here we have the card component. Same way we can do is like I use carousel also a lot. So I'll just add to favorite. Then what I use is like I use a Jumbotron. So right click add to favorite. So this way what happens here is like I, I, don't, I don't need to search every time like card. No, it's not, it's not required now. So we have a favorite folder. So here in this I have a card. So just drag and drop the card over here. Row column we use frequently. So row right click add to favorites. Then column. So right click add to favorite row column is okay we can add it or not because if our if we are using container so let's say container is there and if I am using this container if I select this oh sorry if I am if I am taking this container here if I select the container in the suggestions I can see the row is there and if I click on row then I can see the column as well but let's say if we want to speed up our designing process a little bit faster so what I can do is like I can do in a very fast way just like this this is a container just drop it here this is a row just drop it inside this and this is a column just drop it inside this this way we can do it very faster we can create the list of our favorite components in bootstrap studio version 5.5.0 Moving up to the next update that is theme color. So theme color is now visible. So let's go to settings and here let me change the theme. So I will select this journal theme and I will click on save. So this way the font and the color schemes everything is changed. But let's say I want to see the color schemes. So coming to the appearance panel. In the fonts, I can see the colors which are used in this theme. So let's say for this heading, I want to use the color which is already available in this theme. So let's say for example, I want to use this indigo color. So I'll just click on this color and that's it. I'm using exact the same color which the theme is using. We can change the theme by any point of time. So let's move on to this material theme and I will click on save. So again the colors has been changed and I can use the other colors as well. So this is the color, this is cyan, then this is then one more update is there that is specifically for online components. So there are so the, the online components is now a big library. It's we can find n number of components in the online panel. But let's say this is the and you this is let's say responsive image grid this is one component is is in the second rank 
and it has been updated on December 7, 2020, the same day when the Bootstrap Studio is updated. Okay, so let's say if you want to see how exactly this component is going to behave when you will install that, but now you can see the preview of the component before installing it. So this is the component. Just hover here, hover your mouse pointer on this particular image, and you will see this preview button. Just click on preview. That preview will be appearing. It will create a new project. This component will get temporarily downloaded, and you can see the preview here directly. If I click on preview, so here we have this preview. This is a complete responsive image grid. So yes, it's nice. If you want, if let's say we liked it, so now here what we can do is like now we can install this. So hovering here, coming here, and we can click on install. So now. before installing the component which is available online as a community you can see the preview and then you can install it so once the component is installed now you don't need a preview so they are not showing you the preview this one you can see the preview now so this is how this you can see the preview of the online components and the last update is i think most of us are waiting for this update that is the animation update okay so okay so now so what was happening here is whatever the animations are there all the animations are not working in mobile devices but now what is going to happen here the scroll animation whatever the animations are listed in this scroll this are going to work in mobile devices as well So this is a good news, and for a long time we were waiting for this, and finally we got it. This hover and load is not yet working in mobile devices, but scroll is working absolutely fine. And Bootstrap Studio told that they have only updated that. So let's see this. Yes, yeah, so they have told this. The animation on scroll library was updated. Scroll animations now run on mobile devices. so scroll animations run on mobile devices so this is what the updates are there bootstrap studio version 5.5.0 .5 these are the major five updates which i have listed and it is going to speed up your designing process a bit because already bootstrap studio is giving you a very faster way to design websites okay so this is the This so this is the video on Bootstrap Studio version 5.5.0. .5 If you want to learn Bootstrap Studio in detail, so you can visit Kit dot in, and you can find my course over here, Bootstrap Studio 4.4.3. Right now it is 4.4.3. Very soon I am going to update it to 5.5.0. Right after this video. and then you just need to enroll to this course this is just 299 rupees if you convert it into the us dollars it is near about 2 to 3 dollars that's it you can see all the currencies which are accepted in by by this website indian currency usd europe and all that things majority of the currencies are accepted just enroll to this course and you will get a lifetime access to this course and also at the end i have a certificate exam you just need to you just need to attend 30 questions and you will be getting the course completion certificate from this website so that's all for this video guys i hope you liked it and see you in the next video very soon